What is up everyone? Welcome to today's reaction video and today's reaction is the very special monthly request of my incredible Patreon follower Lem Propolthis. Lem Propolthis, thank you so so much for your continued support, being the incredible person that you are and all of the incredible fan art that you do on the Discord. Uh, I, it has been such a pleasure and such an honor to see the incredible way that your art has grown, evolved, changed, and just blown everyone's mind consistently every time you release a new drawing. So thank you so, so much for every single one of them that you do. Uh, and thank you for this month's request, which y'all, I am so hyped for this. Um, and, and I think it's just, I think it's just Lamb Propolitus has built the hype for this <laughs> because y'all, I normally, when I get a request through, through, Lem Propolis is kind enough to do the translations for the videos. Uh, on top of that, she normally sends me through like damn near a full dossier on the band, the song, everything I need to know going into this. With this one, all I know is that this is Lem Propolis' favorite band. I know that their name, the band's name is Aria. Uh, I, I know that, uh, yeah, I, I, I know that their name is Aria and I know that the song name translates after, uh, over to run after the sun. That's it. That is, that is all I know about this song, this band, this group. I have no idea what to expect. And I'm so hyped for it because Lem Propolis has put some incredible things in front of me. So yeah, I, I can't wait to check this out. We're going to get into it right now. As always, guys, please check out the original video that I have linked in the description below. Give a like, give a comment, subscribe to the original artist, subscribe to Aria and we're going to get into this. Let's dive right in and find out what's going on. This is Aria. Let's go. Okay. Before we even get into it, the way they've done that kind of guitar intro is already so cool. And right as I pause then, that I need to hear that again because that drum beat hit me in a really familiar way and I can't think of what it sparked in my brain or what it reminded me. That section there of the the way the drums are the dum 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 I don't know what that's reminding me of, but there's another song that's jumping into my head that's like from my like from my emo rock teen years. And I can't think of what one it is. But either way, killing it with the instruments so far. Damn, immediately coming in with like the absolute poetry. Again, Lamb Propolis knows how to pick them. She knows how to find people that just write poetry. The air has the smell of trouble over 2,000 years. Life is so cruel on this cursed land. I, I'm, I'm, I, I want to know where it's going to go. I 
I I love that bit there. Yo, very artsy lyrics, very kind of uh, like I said, poetic lyrics. But right there, that when you take away all the uh, artsy poet style, being trapped in a dark place and just knowing you're looking up at the sky, wishing you could fly away like a bird. We can relate. We know that. We know that it's done in a lot of songs and it's because people can damn well relate to that. I love that way of saying, though, like to fly away. To fly away like a bird, they say it straight, they say it flat, but then to merge with the clear sky. And I know that like, again, translation plays a factor here, but you know, to like, to become one with the sky to, it's just a, so, such a poetic way of saying it instead of just saying to fly away, to escape. It, it adds an extra layer to it. Sorry, vocals. Um, like the guy's got a really cool, unique voice. I'm sorry, I don't know the lead singer's name. Uh, Len Properties said there's going to be a lot more of Aria on my channel, so I'm going to guess I'm going to learn their names and that. But lead sing, the lead singer right here, he's got a really unique voice anyway, and I I can't think of a single person I can liken his voice to. But the way that like the way it, it fits so well with the style of song and the style they've done their music, you can tell that they've just absolutely found and perfected their niche and their style. But this note here on the chorus, he just held that and held it and held it. <laughs> Okay, first of all, he's bringing a bit more uh, into it this time, and I like that. His voice, when he gets that kind of, again, it, it's it's not a kind of what you'd expect from modern day metal or scream or anything like that. It's a very almost 80s type sound to his uh, that he puts in there. It, it reminds me of like the kind of 80s uh, hair bands, metal band type thing sound. But these lines here, only those who have the courage, who have felt fear in their hearts, who look into the abyss, but look with pride in their eyes. So many things talk about staring into the abyss and the abyss stares back and things like that. And it's always this thing of that staring into the abyss is a bad thing, a scary thing. Something's going to mess you up or ruin you. This, the image that this conjured in my head of someone staring into the abyss and doing it in a way with pride in their eyes, no back down, no fear, this man is either powerful or crazy. And either way, that line invokes such images. And I freaking love it. Because like I said, so many things have talked about looking into the abyss. And it's, oh, sorry, it's a thing that's used so much. But you don't get it in terms of a way of uh, coming from a place of strength of looking into the abyss and doing it with pride. That's really cool. Yes. Yeah. 
the thing I love about the way this song's been written and especially this chorus and like, again, other parts in it as well is you can't work out fully with the narrative, whether this is a kind of hype up inspiration song or if it's got like this kind of uh, edge of like, it, well, it says right there, like madness, like run after the sun, chase the light, chase the, but do it until your feet bleed, you know, do it. And, and then have no fear. Keep playing your fate. Keep taking your chances. Keep taking the risks. Love that when it's taken that way, but have no fear. Keep testing fate. See what happens. That's a whole different way to take those lines. You know, fly after the sun to madness of heights, to insane heights, you know, um, that, that again, that could be taken in a great way of never stop soaring, never stop going higher. Or you could be Icarus. You could be Icarus flying too close to the sun and burning up your wax wings and falling. You know, have no fear. Only you can do this way. Again, I I think I, I take this in a way. For me, it's hitting in a way of an absolute hype up song of keep keep chasing after the light. Keep chasing after your dreams. Do it until your feet bleed. Do it till you got blisters. Do it till you cannot run anymore because you're going to, you have to keep pushing forward to get to what you want. I take it in that kind of way, but there's definitely an argument that could be made with some of these lyrics of it having kind of a different meaning if you wanted to take it that way. And again, that's what I love about music. That is the thing that I love about music is two people can listen to the same songs and get wildly different things from them. Uh, but yeah, I, I, I am hearing this and let me know in the comments if I'm wildly wrong, but I'm taking this as such a hype up song of basically telling someone that they can do these things, even if they sound crazy, even if it's going to push you to your limits, even if it's scary or it's going to hurt, you can do this thing and you've got to push for it. guitar riff there was awesome absolutely i probably rewound too far now we're gonna have to hear it here a fair bit again but i wanted to hear that full the way it went up that guitar there was awesome absolutely <laughs> sick. I, I know he's getting back into singing. I love that sound in a guitar. I don't know what kind of guitar that is, what style of playing it is, or what it is about that. But my brain, okay, this this is this is how my brain describes it. And maybe someone in the comments can tell me why. Maybe you'll understand, or maybe I'm going to sound crazy. My brain goes to that's video game guitar. That is like that 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 guitar sound somehow links in my brain to really old school retro video games. I don't know why, but that really high squealy on the guitar, electric guitar that happens right at the end here, fire. <laughs> that part right there, the did it, did it, did it. I don't know why that puts video games in my head, but for some reason it does. And not like, not nothing new school. I'm talking like I old school arcade games. And I, I don't know why. Okay. Ah, uh, that took a turn. Maybe my first instincts weren't right. <laughs> <laughs> 
Maybe this is an Icarus flying too close to the sun type song. You fell down with a groan, scorched by the height. <laughs> Who is born on ground must become ground again. Yo, we're born from the dirt. We go back to the dirt. Uh, this this is definitely giving me Icarus flying too close to the sun. Did I hit the nail on the head? Is that what this song's about? This whole kind of obsession with flying as high as you can and that's the thing that makes you fall. Did I hit the nail on the head there? Because that's what I'm taking away from these, these, these lines here. Everything before this, I was like, oh, it's got a little bit of a crazy edge to it but it's still a hell of a hype up song. These lines here make me go, nope, the crazy is there intentionally. And yeah, it was a hype up song, but now you're learning what happens when you push too far. I love the way with that section there, they dropped everything away. You have the like choir style voices come in. And then between those two sections of that chorus, you have this first section, section in between there, they bring the guitar back in, but then when the voices come back in, it drops away again and goes back to just those funky drums. And it made it hit so hard. That was awesome. The way they put that together. <laughs> that I want to hear that part again that was interesting on the uh you have the backup sound like the backup choir type sound and then you have the lead singer but it sounded like he only sang a couple of the words there I want to hear that again right now <laughs> that's what it is it, it's that he's holding that last note that ah and then he comes in and sings the next part faster I love the way the guitar is in the background now is fire. That wow, wow, up and down it is just awesome. That was incredible. Absolutely freaking incredible. Um, I don't like, seriously. The first of all, his voice has such a unique sound to it, such a different sound to it. And yet at the same time, I was listening to it going, I feel like there's some eighties rock band that has a similar type of sound, but I could not put my finger on it because it's not like it was exactly the same. He was so unique in his voice, but there's just something in there, this little, this little grain of something where I'm like, just the, the tone occasionally reminds me of someone and I couldn't put my finger on who it was. Taking that aside, 
Uh, the music in this is what blew my freaking mind. The guitar in this, there were so many moments where the things they did with the guitars or the things they did with the drums, I was like, this is just an absolute, absolutely epic. Uh, and then the lyrics of this one, the fact that, like I said, up until about halfway through that, so up until that last real line of the kind of bridgey type section where it's like, now you're falling to the ground. And again, all I, I consider most songs, unless the artist has come out and said what they meant by the song, I consider most songs to be up to, up to interpretation and take them how you connect to them. And for me, this was a thing of like all this hype, all this kind of got to push further, got to go harder, got to go higher, got to always be striving for more. Even if my feet are bleeding, even if I'm, you know, the sun's in my eyes, I'm exhausted, whatever it might be, I'm going to keep pushing. And suddenly you hit that point where you fly too close to the sun, your wax wings melt and you fall back to the ground and return to the ground. Uh, I, I, again, I might be completely off with my interpretation of those lyrics. That's just how I've taken it. But whether it is that or not, that story in my brain is just such an awesome one. Uh, and I, I I love the way that they work those lyrics so that spark that in my brain. But yeah, if um, let me know in the comments what if that's what the general idea of the song is or if it is just meant to be a full-on hype-up song that I've misinterpreted. Let me know. I'm so curious to find out. Either way, this was absolutely fantastic. Fire. I loved this. Guys, please jump in the link in the description and give the original video a like and a comment and subscribe. Also, leave me a like and a comment and subscribe to this channel. It helps out so, so much. I can't even begin to tell you. And check me out over on Patreon, where I run weekly polls for the reactions that I do here on the channel. I also do weekly TV show reactions, a monthly movie reaction, a monthly live stream, and at the highest tier, you can get a guaranteed reaction right here on the channel, just like Lem Propertist did today. So check all that out over on my Patreon. I will see you all in the next reaction video. Have a great day, night, morning, evening, afternoon, whatever time zone you're in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.